Hi Mike, the reason we're doing this YouTube video today is that we get asked quite a lot of questions online. They're all very similar. Uh, let's fire away at what they, the main two questions that we get asked. The first one is I get asked is if I bought a DJI Mini 3 or Mini 4, do I need to do an A2 CFC? Yeah, that's a very, very common question. This is a Mini 4 here, and we can see on it it's 249 grams. So if you go into a document, the CA have produced a really nice table called CAP 2012. If you go into that table, you'll see that a under 250 gram drone does not require you to do any form of training or any A2 GVC certification. It only requires you to read the user manual. So technically, you do not need a A2 CFC certificate, right. but you might be wise to do one because you'll obviously do your operator ID. So you will get some information from the CAA in relation to where you can and can't fly, etc. when you do this. But an A2 CFC really does give you a, a good overview of the areas that you may not fly without permission. We call them geographical zones, uh, flight restriction zones around an airport, say, a restricted area around a nuclear power station. These are places you may not fly without permission. And the A2 CFC course really does give you a good overview of those places and how to request permission. So you don't need an A2 CFC, but you'd be quite sensible to get one, even if you're flying a, uh, a Mini 3, Mini 4, okay. under 250 grams. So if I bought a Mini 4 and I bought this extra training on the A2 CFC, how long do you think it would take me average to go through the, the course? So the course is three, three and a half hours of video. Yeah. Um, it all depends on how quickly you pick things up. Um, the course is basic, so it's not a, it's the entry level course right. that the CA offers. We have a uh, quite an in-depth mock testing on the on the actual course itself. Okay. So if you're happy with the mock questions, then you will be fine in the main exam. And once I've gone through all the mock questions, what do I do then? Then that's the next sort of question. Yeah. Asked. So once you've once you've completed the theory side of the course, then you would um, do your mock questions. Once you're happy with those, mm -hmm. you would then contact me, and we would arrange a online exam through Zoom. So I need to see your um, computer screen and yourself yeah. whilst you undertake the exam. You will undertake the exam online on your computer at home, and I will be monitoring remotely. That's how it works. So the customer, the customer, I wouldn't need to get in touch with the CAA or anything else like that. You, you do the testing yourself. Yeah, I do all the testing. I will issue the A2 CFC certificate, and remember that's valid for five years. Yeah. The only thing, the only other thing you have to do is you have to sign a declaration form to say that you can fly the drone. Um, you can fly some basic maneuvers to a, a decent standard. So there are two parts to the A2 CFC course. It's not just the theory course. That's the online bit that you do and then test with me. There's a second part to the A2 CFC course, which is you must go out and fly some basic drone maneuvers, which we tell you which maneuvers to do in the course. And you have to sign a form to say that you can fly those maneuvers to a, to a good standard. Once you've passed the theory test and sent me the signed declaration form, I can issue you the A2 CFC certificate. That's like a self-certification type thing. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, nothing. It's nothing, not yeah. a flight test. You no. go off and do it yourself. Okay. And work at your own speed. And the next big question is: before the rain comes, is is what is what um, if I've got a drone over two hundred and fifty grams, like the one we've got here, the Mini, the Mavic mm. Two Pro, which is nine hundred and forty odd grams or fifty grams? What do I have to do with that? So yeah, this say nine, just under a kilogram. The issue you have here that the, the the regulations are based on weight and risk. So with a near one kilogram drone, without an A2 CFC, you have to stay 150 meters away from any residential, industrial, recreational, and commercial areas. So basically, without an A2 CFC, you're stuck unless you want to fly in the middle of nowhere, you know, on a on a, on a farm, say. Uh, yeah. So the A2 CFC. Once you get that, it allows you to fly in those areas, but you still have to remain 50 meters horizontal from uninvolved persons. Now, remember that is a horizontal distance, a radius of 50 meters from the drone all the way around, like a toilet roll cylinder going into the sky. Your uh, uh, uninvolved person may not enter that 50 meter radius. And that's with the A2 CFC? That's with the A2 CFC, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. But if I didn't have the A2C, if I'm flying that, as you say, it's 150 meters away from everything. It's not uninvolved yeah. people at all, and it's physically buildings and cars and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So w- once you're once you're out of that um, area, so you're in the middle of nowhere, you still have to stay 50 meters from uninvolved persons. But the the uh, most restrictive part to not having an A2C of C with a say a one kilogram drone is you must stay 150 meters away from those areas. Right. So so the local park you must be 150 meters away from the perimeter of that park. Right. But then if you find yourself within an industrial zone, staying 150 meters away from the park, you can't be flying in there either. So yeah. you really are forced into the middle of nowhere with your uh, with your drone, basically. Right. But if it's over 250 grams, as you say. Well, we yeah. do have a 250 to 500 gram um, weight range, as you'll see in CAP 2012. Yeah. And that's the same. No A2 CFC. You have to stay away, 150 right. meters. Uh, with an A2 CFC, then you're allowed a lot more freedoms. But there's not many drones in that area, or between 250 and 500 grams. No, the Anafi, uh, Parrot Anafi, yeah. um, maybe the Avatar, Avatar, the DJI. The old Spark, the original um, Air, DJI yeah, one, Air. Yeah, that was yeah. The, Air, the Air two, the Air two and three now are like seven hundred and some on grams. Yeah, it's disappointing now, so over, really. Yeah, DJI yeah. haven't made a really decent drone at four nine nine grams. Yeah, I think um, that maybe some of them which might has do. always surprised me. Yeah. But um, yeah. but yeah, that's the way they've gone. You know, the minis are really popular. Um, but yeah, you you really are. If if you want to cover all bases, you really should do the A two C of C. Um, so you learn all about the geographical zones as we discussed. Okay, well, that's a very interesting one. Thanks for that. Fine.